Reasons Why Old School Romantics Feel Detached From Modern Love There's an irreplaceable charm to old school love that captivates like nothing else. From the boombox serenades outside the window to the artful exchange of handwritten letters, these are cherished memories for those who hold a deep affection for the vintage romance of yesteryears. These individuals embrace everything retro, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. For them, the allure lies in the timeless gestures like leaving love notes, while modern methods like texts and video calls lack the same enchantment. They find solace in the simplicity of gifting freshly picked roses over digital tokens of affection. Consequently, they often feel out of sync with the contemporary trends in love. Here, we delve into why these old-school romantics steadfastly cling to their preferred way of love over the allure of modern romance. 1. Deep Emotions These individuals possess a profound emotional depth. They are empathetic souls, unafraid to advocate for others when needed. They derive immense fulfillment from providing support to their loved ones, preferring in-person interactions over the impersonality of texts or calls. Additionally, they prioritize transparent expression of their emotions, recognizing the importance of face-to-face -face communication in conveying genuine sentiments. 2. High Expectations Individuals like these often hold lofty standards for their partners, striving for nothing less than excellence, even if it entails turning a blind eye to their own imperfections. They aspire to evolve alongside a compatible companion but are hesitant to commit to someone who diverges greatly from their own values and aspirations. This predicament is all too common in contemporary dating, a scenario they actively endeavor to avoid. 3. All about purpose in life. They exhibit unwavering dedication toward achieving their goals and aspirations, demonstrating a commitment to perseverance and diligent effort. Love, for them, is not merely a sentiment but a pursuit in itself, one they are eager to invest time and energy into nurturing. When they love, they wholeheartedly commit themselves to the relationship, going above and beyond to ensure its growth and prosperity. 4. Hate Vague Relationships Primarily, online dating connections often revolve around fleeting hookups and casual encounters, devoid of any assurance of commitment down the line. This aspect is particularly disfavored by old-school romantics, who resist the notion of participating in the online dating culture, governed by trivialities like initiating text exchanges and sharing photos. What they truly yearn for are authentic conversations and meaningful relationships, eschewing the superficiality of modern digital courtship. 5. Soulmate Love these individuals grasp the exquisite nature of gradually discovering and appreciating someone's personality as they fall in love. They long for the chance to deeply care for someone and stand by them, even in their most challenging times. Their hearts yearn for a connection reminiscent of the timeless romances portrayed in literature. Modern-day love holds little appeal for them, and thus, they remain steadfast in their resolve to be with no one unless they encounter their true soulmate signs it's time to cut off the friendship. Friendship represents a profound bond that endures over the course of a lifetime. Together, you and your friends navigate through growth and support one another along the way. However, there are instances when maintaining a friendship can become burdensome. This often occurs when a friend transitions from being a supporter to a detractor. In such cases, the only viable option may be to sever ties. Here are seven indicators that suggest it's time to end the friendship. 1. You have become closer to their family. As time progresses, if you notice a growing divide between yourself and a friend, while simultaneously feeling a stronger bond with others, it may be time to part ways. Remaining in a stagnant friendship where the connection feels strained is no longer desirable. Redirecting your focus towards cultivating new, Vibrant connections is a more fulfilling use of your energy. 2. You make exceptions for them. When you begin accepting their mistreatment simply because of your shared history, the friendship has turned toxic. While familiarity may offer a sense of security, this illusion of comfort is not worth enduring the toxicity. 3. Abusive behavior. When they persist in exhibiting abusive behavior towards you, it's imperative to sever ties. 
Merely labeling each other as family does not justify enduring one another's harmful actions. If the relationship has become toxic for both parties, it's best to part ways. 4. Everything is one-sided. When they demonstrate a lack of willingness to listen and support you during your times of need, it becomes evident that their priorities lie elsewhere. Once discussions about their own concerns conclude, they cease to engage or offer support. If you find yourself investing all the effort into maintaining the friendship while they contribute little or nothing, it may be prudent to end the relationship. 5. You feel guilty. When you realize that your expectations in a friendship are consistently unmet, leading you to internalize blame and guilt, it signals that it may be time to end the friendship. This sense of guilt can cause you to excessively ruminate and exert more effort than necessary in the relationship. It compels you to take the initiative in conversations and social interactions, even when you're not genuinely inclined to do so. 6. You feel drained. If you experience a sense of melancholy after spending time with them, it indicates a misalignment of energies, signaling that it might be time to bid farewell to your friend. Friends are meant to offer solace and encouragement during challenging times, but if the dynamic has shifted unfavorably, it's essential to allow that individual to depart. Being left feeling depleted shouldn't be the prevailing sentiment in a friendship. 7. Your growth has stopped. When you no longer experience personal growth alongside them, and maintaining the friendship feels burdensome, it's time to sever ties. Recognizing that the relationship isn't fostering positivity is a clear indication that continuing the friendship would yield no benefits. Hence, it's in your best interest to end the friendship and embark on a new chapter for your own well-being. Things to know before you start a friends with benefits relationship. Nowadays, casual friends with benefits arrangements are increasingly common, yet they often conclude unfavorably, entailing potential messiness and emotional distress for one or both parties. Thus, before embarking on such a dynamic, it's prudent to consider certain factors. Here are seven essential aspects to contemplate before initiating a friends with benefits relationship. 1. Make sure to have ground rules. It's crucial for both parties to establish clear understanding and expectations regarding the nature of the arrangement. Entering into a friends with benefits scenario with a friend carries the risk of causing tension within the relationship or within your wider circle of friends. Consequently, it's essential to consider the potential repercussions of such involvement beforehand. 2. Be honest. Prior to commencing, it's imperative to foster honesty and maintain transparent communication with one another. Ensuring mutual understanding and alignment of intentions is crucial, both parties should confirm that neither desires more from the relationship than what has been agreed upon. It's essential to establish openness and eliminate any potential for deceit or hidden agendas between the two of you. 3. Don't tell your other friends about it. The least desirable scenario is for word to spread among others. Sharing this information with your friends could inadvertently fuel gossip and speculation, resulting in a barrage of inquiries that may cause discomfort. Thus, it's advisable to refrain from disclosing these details to other friends. 4. There is a chance one might catch feelings. Prior to embarking on a friends with benefits arrangement, you were already friends, possessing a deep understanding of each other's preferences and sources of happiness. Transitioning from an emotional connection to one that includes physical intimacy, such as sex, increases the likelihood of developing romantic feelings, and that's perfectly normal. 5. Make sure you are emotionally stable. Understand that a friends with benefits arrangement is solely focused on physical intimacy without any emotional attachment. Sustaining such a relationship requires emotional resilience. Thus, only engage in one if you believe you have the strength to refrain from developing romantic feelings for the other person. 6. Make sure you can handle them talking to others. While in a friends with benefits situation, it's important to recognize that your friend may pursue genuine romantic relationships and seek a partner who fulfills their emotional needs. It's equally important for you to do the same. Avoid becoming overly complacent with your FWB arrangement and cease actively seeking a meaningful connection in your own life. 7. Don't control them. 
Avoid developing the mindset of being in a committed relationship with your FWB partner. Maintain clarity in your intentions and communicate openly with them. Resist the urge to exert control over them, as you might in a traditional relationship. Remember, they are your friend, and it's important to preserve the nature of your relationship as it currently stands. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.